What's going on everyone and welcome to March 2020's game update vlog. So if you're new to your channel, have no idea what this is. Basically on the first of every month, I go over what's going to happen or what might happen uh, throughout the month on the channel, upcoming games, events, and all that stuff. So something you guys can look forward to. So I have my list right here. Um, March has a lot of hit or miss things. So we'll get into that in a second. But before we start, I just want to say thank you to all of you who are new to the channel, all the new subscribers, people who like the videos regularly, and uh, follow me on Twitch and all this stuff. So every month we get new uh, followers on both YouTube, Twitch, and like all of my social media. So just want to say thank you guys so much. I don't get a chance to say that too often, but um, yeah, I just want to say thank you again. And out of curiosity, I do ask this uh, quite often though, uh, what game or what series did I play that made you decide to follow the channel? Um, so Elder Scrolls Online is a big one, Black Desert, probably one of the biggest ones most of you guys followed for. But I do have like about 250 or so different Let's Plays completed on the channel since like 2011. So I never know, maybe you found that game um, from a while back and you were just watching through that. So that's cool. Um, but yeah, I've played a lot of different games on the channel lately. Um, a little backstory before we get started is like how I started my YouTube channel and all that stuff to where we are now. So back in like 2011-ish when I started my YouTube channel, I was watching the other Let's Players who are actually still around to this day. Um, they would play games like from start to finish, but they would only upload one or two videos a day and... I was like, hey, I think I could do this too. And what I was like thinking is I want to watch the entire thing in just like one sitting. And that didn't happen. I had to wait like every day for a new episode or so. And so I started my channel thinking I could play all these games and upload it faster than they could. Just so people who were like me and wanted to watch things really quickly could just do that. Uh, years later... And I kind of realized why they did that. It's more of just like videos take a lot of time to edit, upload, and all that stuff. So I understand, understandably, that they take so much time to do that. Unless you're literally just playing the game, uploading it. But um, usually I like to edit my stuff. So if I'm like actually confused or just get lost or just wipe over and over again, just cut that out. So it's like a more or less smooth playthrough of whatever I'm doing. But yeah, that's how I started the channel. And then we started with Call of Duty, the usual. And then did Let's Plays of a lot of like new releases, which is kind of still more or less what we do. But nowadays I just do a lot of MMOs. But, you know, we're still doing Let's Plays. So still following what we started the channel on. And then here we are. So... March, what games do we have? Um, so the new ones that are coming out that I might be interested in playing is one, let's go in order, Ori and the Will of Wisps. Uh, if you guys have ever played Ori and the Blind Forest, I assume it's like that one, just a newer one or a DLC. I'm not sure. I think it's new. So we're going to play that one. The original one, the game looks visually amazing. The soundtrack is excellent. I struggled with that one because me and platformers not the greatest experience but I enjoyed the game overall beat it it's good so we'll probably be playing that one I think it's on PC and uh, probably console we'll be playing it on PC so uh, next we have Path of Exiles Next League Delirium and that one comes out on the 13th which is a Friday great day to start the league and every league for Path of Exile, I generally like to try it out. Um, so we're going to be playing that one. The current league that's happening right now, which was... I don't actually remember what it was called. That's how much I played it. Uh, Metamorph, right. So I didn't really like Metamorph that much. It was, it was okay, but... I, one, I didn't really, the league was kind of boring, and two, the build I made was not the greatest. I mean, it was strong, but it was just super squishy, and I just did not feel like re-rolling. So, the league itself, I mean, it was not the greatest. I, it was like, it goes from Blight 
to Metamorph, which is like super downhill. So hopefully Delirium is a good one and we'll be checking that out on the 13th. Next we have Doom Eternal. All of you Doom fans out there will be playing that one. I don't I had I don't really have too much experience with the previous Doom games. Obviously Doom has been going around way before I was born, but you know, we're going to be trying it out. Hopefully it's good. I don't assume those games are too long. Generally, you could beat them within like 5 to 10 hours, I guess. Uh, depending on how much you want to go back and redo everything. But we'll probably check it out. There are a few more games that are kind of sketchy in terms of like YouTube playthroughs. So we might stream it. So one, we have uh, Animal Crossing The New Horizons, which is coming out March 20th. That one is one of those games that I don't think it's going to be popular to watch. It's a fun game. It's just not one of those things that are fun to watch, but we shall see. And that one's obviously coming out for the Switch, so Nintendo games. Then we have Persona 5 Royal. If you have ever played or read or watched Persona, uh, I think you know what you're getting into. It's an anime. I think there's a manga of it. It's video games. There's a lot of them. So if you're into that, you probably know what it is. However, the weird thing about this is the developers don't really like people playing the game due to spoilers and all that stuff. So this, I kind of have to watch what I do for that one because the devs are just like, no, we might strike your channel if you upload it. So I'm just kind of a little uh, nervous about that one. I'm sure the game is great and all. They just do not like content creators, apparently. So I'll see what's up for that one. And then maybe we'll stream it on Twitch. So uh, then I'll talk to my friends who are also content creators and see like, hey, is this okay to upload and or stream? I don't know. So I'll probably have to figure that out. But that one's coming out on March 31st, which is actually just straight up the end of March. So we have time. That's probably going to go through uh, April. But it was technically released in March. That's why we're talking about it. So... Um, I don't know. That's one of the kind of sketchy games. I would love to play it for you guys. I actually enjoyed the anime. I read the manga. I actually played the other Persona games too, just on my own time. It's just the developers do not like YouTubers or streamers that much. So, uh, yeah, I kind of have to watch for that one. But, as usual, uh, that was all the new games coming out. The stuff that I'll be continuing. Black Desert Online. Obviously, that is the biggest thing on the channel so far. So that will be continuing daily as expected, same time. Um, we have two things that we're going to be continuing on a less regular schedule. But as you guys know, over the past few months, I have started to get into the mobile game like recording. Because I've never been able to properly record phone games and stuff until recently. I knew how to do it. I don't have an emulator like the other people. I still actually to this day, I play on my iPad and I'm like one of those people. Everyone just downloads a, an emulator. I still literally just have mine set up to my iPad. So it's just, that's how I play it. Um, it's probably easier with an emulator, but I mean, it's literally the same thing, except I'm looking down at the screen instead of at my monitor, basically. But yeah, so Epic 7, Arc Knights, those are going to be coming up. Well, not as frequently. We have playlists for both of them. And yeah, so if you guys are into those, I do have playlists if you want to check it out and see what it's all about. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, also Elder Scrolls Online, recently they had a huge update, the Harrow Storm. And basically, everyone had to re-download the entire client, and it was like they did a lot of reworks to everything. So pers I think the performance was supposed to get better. I don't know the difference. Everything feels the same, which is fine. I didn't really have too many troubles in the first place, so if it feels the same, it's almost like nothing actually happened, so that's fine with me. But for other people, it might have helped, so that's good. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, for all the games that I've been covering, or I might cover, I do check 
uh, the Steam Store, Xbox, PlayStation, and, you know, whatever, pretty regularly. So if there's something I missed or you guys want to recommend something, feel free to do so. Actually, on Discord, on my Discord, you guys can recommend anything. And we have a channel for all of the, like, continuing series games that we do. So, yeah, big thing to do is if you want to leave a comment on YouTube, that's great. Also, if you don't want to or you don't use Discord at all, that's fine, but I have more social media that we'll get into in a second. So, the social media part. Obviously, YouTube is our main platform. Twitch, we stream there every now and then. And uh, you guys can watch me play games. Sometimes I play with viewers. That's always nice. Um, what else do we do or what else do we have? If you are only interested in video links and you don't care about like whatever else I post, Facebook, the way to go. I just post the link, you can watch it, cool. Obviously YouTube, if you hit the bell thingy, I think that works. I'm gonna be honest with you, you know how all the YouTubers are just like hit that bell button on YouTube? I don't actually use it myself as a YouTuber, so like I assume that I don't, like it gives you notifications, but I don't personally use it. So I'm not gonna tell you guys to use it if I don't use it myself. But I assume that just gives you notifications if you care about that. If not, that's cool too. There's a whole like subscription uh, tab on YouTube where you can just watch like the latest videos that all your you all the other YouTubers post on that day, and just goes in like I don't know release date order, I guess. That's what I do personally. So like when I'm on YouTube and there's like the subscriptions, and then I just kind of watch whatever is new from the people I'm subs to. Uh, that's usually, that's always how I've done it since, I don't know, 2011, I guess, or whenever they made, I had a new YouTube account. So, yeah, I, if the bell works for you, that's great. You could use it on my channel. If not, that's cool too. I don't use it personally, so I'm not going to tell you guys to do it. Um, Discord, we're trying to grow our server, so, and it's also like a platform where I could talk to you guys easier. So, I don't know, recently, maybe in the past year or so, they kind of removed the ability to um, direct message people on YouTube. So, it's like everyone has a Discord these days, I assume. And if you don't, well, it's like just there. <laughs> um, so, it's basically Skype, but better. So, we have a Discord server. It's really just easier to contact people that way. So if you have like any individual questions, I'm usually on Discord, feel free to ask, there's no, uh, nothing to it, just, we have a channel, um, if you're looking for other people to play with for other things, I usually, like, for example, Black Desert, that's our main game right now, if you are on, like, EU, and there might be other people from EU playing there, if you want to, like, look for a group, do whatever, I don't care, uh, feel free to just ask people there in my Discord, or you just whatever you're in. So yeah, just trying to grow a community there as well as YouTube. And uh, I also post like update videos there as well so you don't miss anything. That's another way of just not missing videos or stuff I post. Twitter, uh, if you want to follow more stuff that I do like outside of gaming. So it's like gaming videos as well, but sometimes I post stuff from real life. So if you want to watch that or just keep up with that. All the links are in the description, by the way, so you don't have to actually go search for it. Just description, click on the one you want. Cool. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. I do have a Patreon that I don't really, like, talk about too much. It's more just, like, if you feel like you want to help support me, uh, that's cool. You can read about my bio, which is basically what it's like being a YouTuber and um, or just a content creator in general, like, what I do on a daily how it's like work for me so a lot of people have always had the impression like being a youtuber and streamer is like oh it's so fun you just get to wake up play video games all day and you get money no actually that's not exactly how it works so just giving you a tldr of what it's all about basically i wake up um let's say i wake up at i don't know let's just give an example that's easy so let's you know, the typical nine to five, all right? So let's say I start um, or I get up and get ready for work at nine. And I'm actually like playing the game for maybe like 
two or three hours. So then it's two or like 10, 11, 12. And then the rest of the time is actually just me editing videos, uploading it, and then sometimes answering emails, business, and all that stuff. So realistically, I'm not actually playing video games all day, which most people think I do. But uh, no, it's actually a very small portion of that is actually me playing it. And sometimes, like, if I'm playing difficult games, you think I'm recording for three hours and stuff, but realistically, maybe I get an hour or less worth of video that is usable after editing. And then it's just like, oh, well, <laughs> I guess I gotta do more, I guess. So, yeah, that's just a general idea. It's not actually me playing video games all day. It's mostly a lot of uh, after recording edits and work. So, unlike some bigger YouTubers who have, like, a staff or a team to help them edit and all that stuff, I'm just one person. So, I have to do everything myself, which is fine. I don't mind doing it. I've actually learned a lot over the years of how to do video editing. Um trying to improve video quality at all times. So yeah, that's just something you can read up of. Uh, that's how, like, my day-to-day. -day. So if you guys want to support it, Patreon. If you want to send some money my way, that's always cool. Or the uh, on YouTube, there's, like, a subscription thingy, um, the join sub button. Uh, we all know what that is. But basically, I'm trying to add some kind of perks to that one. So if you want to follow on YouTube, which is, like, the join button, I believe, uh, should be like next to the sub button, but anyway, like things that I'm trying to do are try to give you guys something incentives. So like these videos that come up on the first of the month for people who are subscribed, uh, you guys can see the video a few days in advance. Of course, the videos will be ad free until they go public. So if you just want to watch them like a day or two early, that's cool. That's just like some of the small incentives I can give you guys. Um, and then on Discord, I can give you a special role for all the, like, special subs. You guys have a role. You guys can talk to each other, do whatever. I wouldn't say it's, like, VIP support, but you just can show off a new badge. And, uh, yeah. I don't know. As I get, like, more popular, I guess, um, maybe that might change. But until then, realistically, all I can offer is maybe, like, I don't know. If I'm playing with subs on Twitch or something... You guys can get in first otherwise it's just um ad free videos a few days in advance before it goes public to free it and everyone else so i'm never gonna charge anyone to watch my videos just throwing that out there if you want to support me that's cool uh your viewership is pretty much all that's uh i appreciate everything so i'm never gonna charge you guys to watch my videos that's weird but um if you just want to do some extra tip throw in some extra tips that's awesome but yeah, videos will always be free. If you want to watch them early, that's cool. If not, cool. I don't, whatever. It's going to be out to the public anyway, eventually. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so yeah, that's about everything that's going to happen in March. So feel free to join the Discord, leave a comment, do whatever. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a fantastic day.